So, up on top of the roof here, we were trying to figure out the best place to route the wires without, without drilling any holes. You know, a lot of people go through this pipe right here. And I don't know about on this particular trailer, but I've seen it done through the pipe. But I had another thought, because right here is our, our antenna that goes up for the TV. And there's a little, little spot right here with a boot. And when I remove the boot, it looks plenty big enough for a couple of 10 gauge wires to go through it. Lift it up, there's a little bit of goop in there. But it already goes right into the inside of the trailer. And I got this little wire stick thing. I push it down in there. You can hear it hit the top of the inside paneling of the roof. So I think that's gonna work. And no drilling, no nothing. Just have to reseal it because that boot there is not gonna be proper with the extra wire going through it. But we'll figure that out. But no drilling. So we got them routed through here. And I kind of bent them up a little bit so that the uh, the boot can kind of go over it and and keep the top still sealed. But I'm still gonna put some die core down in the hole here and uh, probably clean this up, maybe put it there to hold it too, so. But no drilling, that's the idea. Here's the wires feeding into the trailer for the first phase of uh, routing them. It's come in through the antenna bracket here. The uh, antenna on the roof is about four inches over here. I was able to reach up with my finger as he fed them down through. Just reach right over there, pull them on through. So from here, plan, let's go up across here Across there and pull this panel back out have access to that now we know from previous projects like the battery monitor there that there's a route across the top of the back of cabinets it's a channel or a, a tube uh, back there and the wires run down behind this false wall here this 45 degree wall to where this outlet is and then we can feed them down under our cabinets where the main switch breaker is and all the whole wire bundle comes in through the, under the floor of the trailer. So the wire's coming through here, up to the top up here. And we just managed to get it to pull down through over here using another existing wire I was gonna use for the battery monitor. But since it was already routed, it's hard to get the fish tape through there. So we just use this wire to pull it through and then we'll pull it back through using a, we have a piece of paracord also tied there, so we'll just pull the other one back through again. But it looks like it's going to work. So here's our solar charge controller. I uh, found this piece of scrap metal and I drilled it up, filed it, and should work pretty good. We have it uh, mounted here with some screws, and then I have the this adapter to talk to the um, inverter. And then this is a Raspberry Pi, which I have... Uh, these uh, USB ports connected or will be connected to uh, the charge controller and the battery monitor and uh, connected to the adapter here. But uh, this has a, I drilled some holes so I can mount it. Oh, I should be able to mount it inside there. So it should sit up. And here's the back side. Kind of got it wired nice and neat so that it will be all nice. It'll sit like this. So. So I started the process of cleaning up the wires a little bit. I see I made room over here so I could put the solar charge controller right there. Should fit just fine. Uh, I moved the the ground wires over just a little bit and tried to route them a little nicer. Tried to put a few tie wraps on some of these wires. It's still a little bit of a mess, but uh, at least I have room for the charge controller. That was my main goal for today. I'm not gonna. I don't have time to continue, so I'm just gonna button this back up. It's all back together, so should should work out though. Before I put the circuit breaker in, this is actually the AC side. And you can see that there's another mount for another breaker for an AC breaker, uh, AC breaker back there. But uh, I, I don't want to take a chance of it shorting out in any way to the DC one I'm gonna put in here. So I did put a piece of heat shrink. I don't know if you can kind of see it in there. Um, so that uh, it won't 
even possibly touch the breaker. I have the other side of the breaker heat shrinked as well, so nothing's going to happen, but I just like to err on the side of precaution, and I'm also going to put a little bit of uh, the liquid, um, liquid black tape on it, which is uh, basically just, uh, what do you call this stuff? It's, um, it's the same as, uh, what do you call that stuff? I can't even think of the name of it at the moment. But it's uh, the spray, spray of rubber stuff. So anyway, it's going to, uh, I'm going to put it just on that metal back there. Just, just on the side of precaution because we're never going to put a AC breaker down that far. Because this thing's already wired the way it's supposed to be and we don't really need it. So I just wanted to, to make sure that it's uh, all legit. So one of the ways to access to uh, where we put the solar controller is right behind this drawer. I mean, you got the control panel basically down there, but uh, you can get to it through there, but you have to actually unscrew it, which is not a big deal, but it's actually easier to, if you just need to look at it through here, you just, just open the drawer and then uh, remove it, and the drawer's off, and you just look right down through here, you can see it right down there on my panel, back side of that, and then uh, turn this around, maybe you can see it back down in there, it's kind of hard without knowing what I'm doing, I don't know if you can see that or not, I'm trying to just hold the phone back in there, but there we go, that's what it looks like in there, 